Okay, drive shaft is seated. Hardware is installed for, uh-oh. What happened? Oh no. What happened? Oh no. Oh, that's real bad. You're leaking? You're no. Cracked. Okay, may maybe this is salvageable. Just explain to the camera what's going on. The spring that holds the clutch fork is not seated. Has pushed back into the transmission. Mm. This is not good. That's not good. Lose it? Yep. I wonder if I can get it from taking this off. I bet I can. Worth a shot. Yeah. Got to, either way, that's got to come off. Eek. Okay. Hi ho, Keegan the Vlog here. Welcome back to BMW Wrench Time. You are not in a time loop. This is not the same Calypso Rote E30 that we have once before put a manual transmission in. This Calypso Rote E30 we got about a year ago when my Tesla got totaled and I couldn't decide which car to buy, so I bought both of them. This and a 1991 Acura Legend. Uh, with the assumption that I would put a manual transmission in this car and this would be the E30 Calypso Road to rule them all. Um, well, it's been almost a year and I have been procrastinating and now what we are gonna do is something a little different for this channel. We're gonna do a time trial. Uh, we have taken apart and put back together the drive line on this configuration, the M20 engine and the Getrag 260 transmission in various cars several times over the last few years and we think we can get this done in an afternoon. Now this is the part where I, I splice in me sitting in my chair looking at the camera and laughing, right? Yep. <laughs> sure. So, uh, now that you have watched me laugh at the camera and uh, make fun of the, the fact that we have no chance of doing this in an afternoon, uh, we're going to give it a shot here. So, if you want to see us attempt, and succeed or not, uh, doing a manual swap on an E30 in a day, this is your video. Let's get into it. So, so we're, we are beginning this operation at 9.25. 9.25. First, first, Eastern Standard Time. Eastern, Eastern Daylight Time. Eastern Daylight Time. Eastern Daylight Time. Daylight time. Day, standard Daylight Eastern Time. time. All right. Let it be known. Let it. 9.25 Eastern Daylight Time, the operation to manually swap this car has begun. Games are open. Huzzah! Huzzah! <laughs> <laughs> so this is a Mitch Bennett trick that I learned working on a J80 probably 15 years ago. This, one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way to 17, a notepad, and then we keep track of what we take off and where we put it. I mean, so simple, right? It's not okay, there's no possibility that we don't get some while you're in there itis happening during this uh, little operation here. Uh, one of the things that I bought was a um, metal pivot pin for the uh, clutch fork. And well, while the transmission is off, right under here. Oop, take that off. Get that spring out of the way. This is a brand new spring. I don't feel the need to replace it. People, people, cool. Progress report, very, very good progress to report. There's, there are now three pedals in this car and that might be the hardest part of this job. <laughs> Shoes all wearing thin. This 
conversation's gonna do me in I say, I see Silently I take a peek Gonna break the secret that I keep In my heart Never gonna stop These flies in my suit All right, 139 update. Transmission is out. Transmission is out. Old transmission is out. Didn't seem easy. Yeah. That did not seem easy. Although I, I, it didn't seem easy, but I feel like we it will only, it were really only like 20 minutes getting that thing out. So that's not bad. No, it really wasn't. Like time wise, it wasn't terrible. I think we leave it. Yeah. You know what I don't have? Holy showstopper. I don't have a pilot bearing. Oh, all right. So it is two o'clock. Two o'clock. Five two, minutes till two. Two o'one. Two o'one. Two o'one. Two o'one. Oh, that's slow, slow. Um, we have the transmission off the flywheel. Off, flywheel. The pressure plate. Is that what you call that? Torque converter. Torque converter and all, converter, all that stuff off. We're off. Um, all the cooling lines removed. Um, what we don't have is a pilot bearing. Except Mitch has an extra one from. The uh, E28 project. 90% sir. 90% sir. While he goes and checks on that, I am going to finish up on the inside of the car, get the shifter mechanism for this out, try to get the pedals all connected, try to get the uh, the plumbing situated for this this whole cluster. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, it's, it's a pilot bearing. Okay, let's see. I don't know why I would have a pilot bearing for anything else. We're yep. making progress. Keegan is just now tightening down the bolts on the pressure plate for the clutch. Uh, and next step, we'll be throwing the manual transmission up in this car here. Oh, and we're right. going to throw it too. We're yeah. just going to throw it. Just Through drop, the magic of editing. Drop kick it. everything I ever want to do. My heart I'm never gonna stop these flies in my suit. I formed a little group. All that I need is enough. All that I need is enough to fill up my time. It is what five o'clock, four forty-eight. We yeah. we can't get this fully done and operational in a day. Yeah, but I think we're we're on the backside of this finally. If they, Radwood was tomorrow, we would do it. We would do it. We're gonna clean up now and get into this next Saturday and and hopefully have it finished. <laughs> One week later. All right. Welcome back. Not even sports fans. If you're a, if you're a sports fan, you're not watching this. Welcome back, great friends of the podcast, GFOPs. We are in day three of the afternoon manual swap project on this E30, and uh, we're about to do the drive shaft and the guibo or juibo or juibo or whatever the heck you call this damn thing. The flex coupling. The flex coupling. Uh, we can't finish today because we are waiting on exhaust studs, uh, but we are going to get everything else done on this car. So the only thing we have to do next weekend is uh, is bolt up the exhaust and uh, and drive it out of the out of the garage. <laughs> That's what we're up to today. Let's get back into it. I just want to make sure that those, that those three are lined up with an arrow that faces that flange. Yeah. One ringy dingy. One ringy dingy. <laughs> uh, uh. I'll take it back. You gotta go back. You gotta let me get in here first. Okay. Hold on. 
hold the center up because it's got to be like lined up. Okay. And then you, there you go. Now you can let the center group. Okay, drive shaft is seated. Hardware is installed for. Uh oh. Oh no. The spring that holds the clutch fork is not seated, has pushed back into the transmission. Oh, f did you just lose it? Yep. Eek. Okay. So we were. So the afternoon manual swap of this E30 is now is now. It, it will definitely take three weekends. Yeah. Which is one week later. This is the third weekend of the one day manual swap E30 and we're finally about to button this thing up. <laughs> Got the uh, exhaust manifolds back on. I know that has nothing to do with the manual swap, but here we are. Uh, the, the exhaust manifolds are back on so we can put the exhaust system up and that should be it other than some trim and interior bits. I'm crazy, just a little bit crazy. I'm crazy for the crazy things you are. I'm crazy, just a little bit crazy. I'm crazy for the crazy things you are. I'm crazy. Andreas was the was the guy's name that sold sold me this car. I think it was Andreas. I'll have to go back and look at my, yeah. my email. If you're watching, it's done. <laughs> yeah. We finally did it. All right, that is going to do it for this episode of BMW Wrench Time and Rad Savers. We saved it. We certainly saved it. Are we going to go to the Bean? Or yeah, go to the Bean. Thank you for watching. Uh, we're we're done with BMW manual swaps for a while. Yeah. I just jinxed it, didn't Same. I? Yeah, we're gonna. I think the next one is gonna be Jerome's um, E3. Next, like, fast forward to TR3 wrench in the year 2047. But yes, if we, if we're all still around. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.